Hello everyone, it's your girl again. Today we are making egusi. I want to show you how we, you can make egusi, party star egusi at the comfort of your home. Party star egusi at the comfort of your home. So I'm starting by eating up my oil. My palm oil is, is on the stove already. So I'm gonna add sharp onions. I'm adding sharp onions. Yeah, you stay your onions. Then I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna add a paste. This paste is a mixture of garlic, ginger, and onions. I'm gonna add two tips or two tablespoons of this. This is a party star egusi. I'm making this in my grandmother's time. A mixture of fried egusi and steamed egusi. So I'm going to have. This is our egusi. I'm going to fry half of this and set the half aside for later. All right, you can see that the egg is well fried now. It's looking so, so, so colorful and beautiful. So I'm going to add my seasoning now. I'm adding my seasoning. I'm adding this, the fish. I'm adding the seasoning too. I'm adding salt, pink salt. Okay, I'm adding more of this, the seasoning for taste. I'm gonna add a little bit of iru focus beans. I'm gonna mix it together. Okay, so I'm going to have the pepper has been blended. It's a mixture of rodo. Yes, rodo and the tatasi. It's the tatasi. So I'm having it into it. Let me forget that channel in and let it stream for the while. See how color of it is. The part is tied, it say. So I have stockfish here. It has been pre boiled. I'm going to add it right now for it to cook very well and very soft. So I'm adding the stockfish. It's so formal. So. Thank you. 
So I have uh, my stock brought from the chicken broth. So I'm having into my pot. All right, so I'm going to have the the second half of the goosey. You can see it's been molded into goosey ball. I'm going to add this goosey ball into it to steam for some minutes before I add my, my other protein. So I'm going to have this goosey ball into it. This is the way my grandmother used to make it. You know, reduce the heat and let it steam for some minutes before we have the protein, the other proteins. Now we have this. So we're going to cover the cover of the, the cover up for about 10 minutes. Then we come back to to add the other protein. Oh it's looking very good now. You can see the the goosey ball is now very very you know it's looking very good the way we want it to come out. All that protein and we have the air fish dry one is be the bone. Then I'm going to add my coffee and prawn. I'm gonna add it all the so I'm going to add more stock. So you can add more liquid now. So I'm having chicken broth, more chicken broth, and more juicy water. This is our grilled uh, mackerel. So I'm adding the mackerel. So. Yeah, the mackerel. Then we add our our chicken. The chicken has been wet seasoning and cook. So I'm going to add some chicken to the egusi. Into it as well. So this is the way to make our practice try a goosey. You can make it at the comfort of your home. This is the way to do it. Let me sit all together. You can have any fetch of your choice. For today, we are having we are, we are having grab uh, leaf. Yeah, so I'm gonna have this. Yeah, this is how to do it. I'm trying this leaf. So the recommendation from a sister from Zimbabwe. So you can eat with any swallow of your choice. More salt and the remaining system. So this is how to make Pakistani goosey 
in my grandmother's pie. My grandmother would like to take it with a echo. Echo is cornmeal. So this is it. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel. Like it, please, and subscribe. Thank you so much for staying to the end. Bye.